how it sticks well with that drink. Right? Alcohol kills me too. Vivian. What you've done, Catherine Neal, ashamed of this family. Who, who took these pictures? Who is this guy? I don't know, Dad. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I just arranged for your engagement to Howard yesterday, and you go sleep with this nobody. Daddy, please. Somebody is setting me up. I, I was drugged. You are no longer a member of this family. Get out of here. You're a moral traitor. <laughs> said something about pizza or something before he took the photo. Sounds like that pizza boy is going to fuck the shit out of your sweet sister. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, speaking of the devil, what are you doing up here? Looking for death? Renee, I knew this was you. Howard, why, why would you do? Why would you do this? Katie, I wanted you, but all you cared about was your fucking career. <laughs> We're engaged. After the wedding, I'm yours. <laughs> that won't be necessary. <laughs> How was your night? Must have been one hell of a memory. <laughs> 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 Let go! <laughs> Your life's in my hands, sis. Really? A new day has come, my love. Who was she? There's no trace of her. I've run through all the footage I could find in the hotel. I can't get her out of my mind. You gotta keep looking for her. But, George, from the way she was dressed, it's quite possible it was Miss Vivian. Hello, Mom. Georgie, don't be mad at me. I know you don't like me playing matchmaker, but I didn't want you to stand her up. So you did give Vivian my remember? Well, yes. But for the sake of an engagement, a bond between our families. I want to see her. George, hold on. That's impossible. Vivian already left back to the UK. Okay, Mom. I accept the engagement. You can set it up. started this war, my dear. I hope you're ready for what's coming your way. We settled a partnership with the Windviews. It's a good start. Now, if we could just set on a strategic long-term cooperation with the other two families, the Neils in the Woods, then we could hold on to a steady place in the city. Yeah, the Windviews. The Woods. <laughs> My sweet sister. How about the Dauntons? Aren't they the most powerful family in town? I wouldn't say the Dauntons are powerful, more like God himself. The Woods are bidding for the commercial development east of the Windviews Island, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that doesn't happen. Do whatever is necessary.
I would say hello to some old friends. Yeah, it's probably her birthday, no? How's Howard? I haven't seen him. He lost a bed he's been working on for three years. What's going on? A small company came in out of nowhere and offered a better price. Daddy, you're gonna help Howard, right? Hey, sis. You missed me? I thought you were dead. Gone. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. You shameless bitch. Everyone in the family has suffered because of you. Sleeping around with strangers like a whore. What does family honor even mean to you? Doesn't mean a goddamn thing anymore. You know what? You are no longer recognized in this family. You're better off in the streets, sucking as much cock as you can. I think your pasta's getting cold. Oh, oops. I think your pasta's getting cold. You have no fucking clue who I am, Renee. And you have no idea what I'm capable of. Renee said you ran out because of your guilt. Funny, she would say something like that. Daddy, she's full of shit. Not a very fatherly welcome, is it? You're not my daughter anymore. Get out of my house! Daddy, you're an old man. You do not want this fight. Trust me. What do you want? He's not welcoming you back in the family anytime soon. I want back everything that you've taken from me over the last eight years. Your beloved daughter, Renee, drugged me. She threw me off a roof and she left me for dead. And you did nothing. Daddy, she's lying. I don't give a fuck if you believe me or not. But I thought you should know the truth before judgment comes from you, and it is coming. You cheated on Howard, remember? Thankfully, Renee stepped in to take care of the engagement so we could keep our deep bonds with the Woods family. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations, Renee, on your loving relationship. Oh, you might want to keep a close eye on Howard, though, because that deep bond, it's going to end very soon. Bitch, I will kill you again. And I'll see you in hell, sister. <laughs> oh, mommy. Come home. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what happened to you? What did they do to you? <laughs> George, that boy looks exactly like you. And the girl looks so familiar. I just can't place her face. I'll find out who they are. And yeah, get as much information as you can. Can I help you? You have my son. Oh, fuck. No, wait, wait, wait. I know this is weird, but the file, it, it, it proves I'm his father. I don't care what this file says, okay? I've raised him by myself. Where, where, where have you been for the past eight years? Do you remember me? I don't, I don't know who you are, okay? What do you want from me? I want my child. He's been without a father for eight years. Yeah, and he's been just fine without one, okay? Tony's home is this fucking house. No offense, he deserves a better father than a pizza delivery boy. That's not true. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean pizza boy? Mommy, I'm back! Hey, Tony. I'm your daddy. Daddy, I missed you so much. I miss you too, buddy. Baby, you never met this man. Come on, go inside. Grown-ups need to talk. Come on. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you a million dollars. You can be in Tony's life, you can be his father, you can live like a family until he's 16. But until then, I'm the one who's in charge, okay? I'm the one who makes the decisions, got it? A million dollars, really? 
What, you're gonna make more money driving around pizzas? <laughs> I'll see what happened here. I'm sure. Are you really my daddy? Yes, I am, bud. Hey, we're gonna have a family lunch. What do you want to eat? Pizza! Pizza! Okay, yeah, let's go see where daddy works. Go put your bag away, honey. You didn't tell him I was a pizza delivery boy, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. He wanted to know about you for all these years, and that's the only thing I can remember. Damn. Yeah, we need to buy a pizza shop. Right now. Yeah, right now. I'm heading there right now, so let me know where it is. So business is um, slow, huh? Yeah, it's more of a delivery spot. That's how I make my money. So you're a big business lady, huh? Something like that. It's fascinating. I mean, it gets kind of lonely sometimes, I guess. Delivering hot items to ungrateful customers. <laughs> you sound like the pizza boy. Hi, Mr. Dalton. I need you to go. I need you to go. Go, go. Uh, um, what was that? Do you, do you know that guy or something? Yeah, he's a rival delivery driver. Dressed in a designer jacket? Yeah, you know, you dress for the job you want. Mm -hmm. How's the pizza, bud? It's good. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Hello, Catherine? Hey, George. I'm sorry. I have to cancel our lunch date. Yeah, something important came up. All right, see you at the house. Thanks. How nice that you could join me at Swinview's birthday party. Everyone who's going to be there is either super rich or super powerful. <laughs> Just like us. What is he doing here? Who are you talking about, Katie? Never mind. You know, I'm actually really surprised that Windview's invited me. We just closed this deal. Well, you are Mr. Windview's biggest partner now. Now the woods are going to have to find a way to survive. Mm, I can't see a way out. Oh. Looks like a dead end. We did have to get this closed. Okay. Right on through. Sure. sure. Yeah, I don't know. Ma'am, do you have an invitation? Uh, not a paper one, no. I'm afraid I can't let you in. Mr. Windview invited me himself an hour ago. What are you doing here? It's Miss Wimby's birthday party. No place for slut. Yeah, Renee, you should probably go home. Miss Neal, welcome. Thank you. Please. Lady, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No, no, no. That's too nice. <gasps> okay, what is going on out here? Oh, waitress, please. Miss Dalton, I was just trying to help. This woman is an uninvited guest and she was trying to break in and the guards wouldn't do anything about it. You were trying to help. Yes, Miss Dalton. My name's Renee Neal. It's an honor to meet you, ma'am. Well, if you'd like to help, you can help by leaving. All I see is you picking on this poor young woman who's done absolutely nothing. Miss Dalton, she's an uninvited guest and she wouldn't leave. Really, I have no invitation and I'm in. Come on, darling, you're with me. Thank you. Oh. I'm Linda. Hi, this is Wendy. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, Catherine. How could you insult Miss Wendy like this in front of all of her guests? What? It's her birthday. I, I have no idea what is going on right now. That is obviously a forgery. The Jade Kieran was the last piece the great artist Alvin Zhao made before he died. How dare you fake it? Howard. Really, Howard? Are you serious right now? Oh, it's good to see you too, Katie. But just because I'm seeing you alive doesn't mean you get to disrespect the dead. I assure you, Mrs. Winview, I, I got this directly from Mr. Zhao's personal collection. Oh, really? Not five minutes earlier, Miss Winview received the real Jade Kern from me. Better give her a hand. Which way is her, exactly? 
Okay, there's there's only one real Jade Kieran here, and and unfortunately, since Mr. Zhao has passed away, maybe his son help us figure out who exactly here is insulting Mrs. Winview. Mr. Zhao, I I know this is really uncomfortable. I'm I'm sorry, but please, you're the only person who can settle this. I came to the U.S. a few months ago, but I'm sorry, Miss. I have done with authentication to my father's work since he died. Please. She started to work. How do we know it's really Mr. Zhao's son and not just some fraud you hired? It is Mr. Zhao, and he is my mother's guest. They are identical. I can't tell which one is real. I can't tell which one is real. <sighs> God, Catherine, you're pathetic. Guys, isn't it obvious? She hired this fake Mr. Zhao to play out this scene and cover her ass. Apologize to him. Go to hell with your trash. <sighs> to my beloved wife. It's my father's, not my mother. Now that I've seen it. Take your cheap knockoff. Get out of my house. Mrs. Winview, please. Howard. Howard. Maybe you should go chase Howard. after your fiance, Howard. Howard. Ooh, you were so brave and honest. No, really, I, I appreciate you so much, Mrs. Daunton. I could not even gotten in the doors without you. I just tried to do the right thing. Oh, thank you, so really. It's time to go pick up your son. Oh. Do you want me to go? Could you, would you go pick him up, please? Just, of course. Thank you, just tuck him in and tell him I love him, okay? Thank you so much, Linda. I'll see you tomorrow. How old is your child? Oh, he's eight. Oh, I bet he has your eyes. Oh my gosh, I wish. He's got a, he, he looks exactly like his father. Oh, you know, I remember when my son was eight years old. He was such a warm boy. God knows what's turned him into such a vampire now. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Here's my Tony. But there's nothing there. Oh, that's weird. I guess, <laughs> I guess my phone died. Um, maybe next time. Would you excuse me? Oh, of course. Where is he? Seriously, why are you touching me? Get so, yeah. What are you doing? talking about? No, this is George. What hey, what? I've been looking all over for you. Hey, Captain, this, this isn't really a good time. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> I smell a little jealous. Then get your nose fixed. We can talk. No, gorgeous, you can't. Come on. Hey, listen carefully. Okay, we had a deal. And it's not just about you being a father. It's a contract to our marriage. Look at me. I'm sorry, you want me with other girls? What did I say about me being in charge? You are. God, I'm so sorry for the stuff I said tonight. It's okay. It was a tough night. Yeah, it's always a tough night. Why does your sister hate you so much? I don't know. You have to ask her. You know, you're so lucky that you don't have any siblings. I don't know about that. It's not easy being an only child. There's a lot of high expectations. Really? A lot of pressure for the pizza boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is, as a matter of fact. Okay, then tell me something. Well, for starters, if the pizza's not there in 30 minutes, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really? That's a, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> it was. Just remember, I'll always stand behind you. Now we have a car, right? I like walking. Tommy, what are you doing? Alex's mom and dad, hold hands. Well, we're not Alex's mom and dad. Aww.
Almost like a real family. Almost. Your hands always this creamy? No, not always. God damn it, you look like a slob. We have to impress the president of Yale Enterprises tonight. Don't remind me. If they can bail us out, we might actually make it through this thing. Has Mr. Windy returned any of your phone calls? No. No, he has not. <laughs> Bitches everywhere. Do you have him for three tonight? No. I don't think so. Hello, Catherine. Look oh, God. Looks like your son's old enough to go to school. Old enough to know his mother's a bitch. How dare you talk like that in front of my son? If you want your dinner tonight, you better watch your mouth. Speaking of dinner, this is the hottest restaurant in town. I trust you have a reservation for this evening? I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, but we don't do walk-ins and we don't have takeout, so please leave. Mr. Winview, it's so good to see you. Call me now. Mr. Winview's my father. Please, come with me. Sorry, we only serve customers with reservations. Of course we have reservation. Under my last name, Neil. Are there two Neils in the book? Mm, no, sir. Only one reservation under Neil. Are there two Neils in the book? Mm, no, sir. Only one reservation under Neil. That's me. That's my reservation. I don't think so. Ask them to leave. Please, the president of Yale Enterprise is waiting for us inside. All right, then. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right this way. It's a pleasure to see you again. Ah, oh, ma'am, it is so good to see you here. To see you <laughs> it's here. To see you too. I heard you have a meeting with Howard. Oh, Mr. Woods. I just looked right past you, didn't I? I am so sorry. That is all right. No worries. Let me introduce you my fiance, Renee Neal. Nice to finally meet you, Miss President. Oh, <laughs> I'm just a general manager, but allow me to introduce you to our president, Ms. Catherine Neal. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. That's ridiculous. How can she be president? It looks like our associates actually don't want to have this meeting. No, no, that is not true. We absolutely do want to have this meeting, Katie. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm actually very tired, and I'd like to enjoy dinner with my family tonight. Mr. Woods, you heard her? I'm afraid there's nothing left for us to talk about. No, please. We can talk through this. No, we can't. Renee, what the fuck? Take care of your fiance. Does he know you have sex with random strangers and pictures all over the internet? Is it true? He knows. He is that stranger, and this is our son. There's pictures? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Of us. Yeah, they come up every few years, and we just get them taken down again. You get used to it. You're so calm about it. What else can I be? Tony, your mom's crazy. I'm gonna go inside, honey. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Winview. Are you gonna bring your work with you on this camping trip? Tony, help me with your mom. Mommy, family time. No phones allowed. No phones allowed. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you take his side? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> George? Hey, can I borrow your phone? I don't have any reception. Yeah. Let's make it quick. Family time. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Just have an important phone call I need to make. Oh my God. You don't have any either here. Go look for some service. Okay. Where's the rest, man? My advice? Just take it and fuck off. Just take it and fuck off. Oh my god. Oh 
了。Okay, buddy. I'm gonna get some firewood. You hang on here, okay? Okay. George! George! Hey, hey, get in, get in the tent. You protect yourself. Be tough like daddy, right? Okay. No, please, please. I didn't see anything. I swear to God. Bullshit. I heard your phone. She was calling 911. No, no. I swear. I'm not going to tell anyone. I promise. No, you uh, won't. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You too? All right, Dad. Trouble always comes in pairs, huh? Easy. Easy. We can talk. No, that's not happening. Yeah. Wait, that that emblem. You guys are Roto's boys from the north side. All right, good eye. Yeah, Nathan Dotton and Roto, they ran together in high school, but when they graduated, Nathan took over the family business and Roto went to prison for doing some nasty things. How when Roto you? got out, Nathan helped him get him set up on the uptown. How did you know this? I'm George Dotton. I'm Nathan's grandson. Yeah. Promise you won't go after us if you let you go. This never even happened. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yes, our son's back at camp. Tony! Oh, Tony. Oh. Is that on? I feel him. Okay. Come on, he's afraid of water. Tony, what did I say about staying in a tent? Look at your mom. Hey, it's his fault, okay? Just promise me a lesson next time. I promise. Good boy. Catherine? Yeah? Did you hear what I said out there about my last name? I'm George Donnie.